Uh, another thing you kind of mentioned was just how the trip was with the whole Chinese virus. Oh my God, that's racist, Mark. You call it Chinese, there's nothing race about calling it a Chinese virus. Somebody mentioned that in a, in a thing where I said Chinese virus. Oh, well, I thought we were going to have a good argument until you mentioned Chinese virus. You're racist. I, uh, you're a Nazi. <laughs> you're stupid. There was very few incidences of Chinese people being attacked. Like a handful. And those people that attacked them because of a Chinese virus, the Wu flu, the COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, those people are stupid. You don't need to change names. Oh, but the World Health Organization, they they said, hey, in five years ago or whatever, that, you know, we're going to name it name so people don't, so it's not associated with countries. I wonder who backed that. That was China backing that because most of the stuff has come out of China. I think they got tired of, oh, here's another Chinese virus. Well, it's true. We should know where these things came from. And the media shouldn't jump on it and be like, oh my God, we should change the name. After they were calling it Chinese virus for a while, or the China virus, yeah. But anyways, driving here to Tennessee from Colorado, uh, stopped only for gas in Kansas, no big deal. Missouri, everything's open, checking it out till they had a spit guard for the clerk, but the pool was open, everything was open. Missouri is is back to it. Which is uh pretty cool, you know. Able to eat in their restaurant. That's part of the, the Holiday Inn in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Awesome. They sat people back to back. It, it didn't matter. The bar's open. So as far as in Tennessee here, everything seems to be fine. In both places, no one was wearing masks, really. We went to Walmart the, a couple days ago, I guess now. And there's a few mask wearers, but most people aren't wearing masks. My father's like, yeah, it's been this way a while. Most people are okay with the virus at this point. And the two I saw wearing the mask were like an old couple. So, you know. If you have medical issues, you should wear it. I mean, the new studies even show asymptomatic people aren't even really spreaders of the virus. It's going to be very difficult for you to get the virus from an asymptomatic person. It's also going to be difficult for you to get it from kids. Kids don't tend to shed the virus, nor asymptomatic people. So, see, this is all new data, the June data. People are still going by the March data. Why? We have new data, new research. It's been updated. And it's nice to see places not giving a big deal about this, making a big deal. It's my call if I want to do something. I haven't worn a mask yet. Why? My parents have like, yeah, we've given up. If I die, I die. You know? Are you going to live your whole life in fear? I don't know. Some people, a lot of liberals are, yeah, I do. And I will. Uh, to each their own. I'm not too worried about it. Make sure no one's behind me. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. What the, you know, locals tend to drive fast, and I'm on a littler bike, so I might I might be going kind of slow. I'm just gonna go down here a little bit. Probably turn around, and go back. So when I get back from uh, Michigan, because I go to Michigan next, I'll try the bike there and stuff. But when I when I get back from my trips, my travels, you know, I'll probably be putting on the big bore kit, the 150 Yamaha kit. Get that in 
and see how it works, you know, how the bike is. And then I probably a couple weeks after that, or maybe the same week, I'll probably go ahead and list it for sale or something. I don't know. So which leads me to what bike am I going to get? I probably won't be able to get one of those right out the door, but I want, I'm thinking about a Yamaha Tenere, the 700. My daughter really likes riding with me, and obviously you can't do that on these type of bikes. So I think I might get one of those. Let me know in the uh, comment section what you all think I should get. I mean, uh, it seems like a reasonable bike. It's like 10 grand, probably after tax. We're probably talking, I don't know, tax, and if there's any few farkles I need, like 12, 13. Oh. So, yeah, that, that guy confused the issue. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I had a stop sign, but I was talking. Yeah, he better run, dog. At least he wasn't a, a chaser. I have no idea. I'm heading south. That's all I know. That's the downside of the Voyager. No base maps. Like, if I had the Pro, like, I'd have an idea and be like, oh, okay, I'll make a loop. I mean, this, I'm basically like, I don't know. I know eventually I will end up in Huntsville. <laughs> yeah, on some road, I don't know if this is the one. It could, it could possibly be. So, you know, my video from today might be broken up in a couple different, you know, videos. Reason being, you know, it's hard to figure out what I want to talk about and talk about it and, and end it. I'm kind of out here just to have fun try and try the bike, you know. People want to know about lower elevation and this is, it definitely, I buy it pull the throttle, or I rotate the throttle, and it, g it goes a lot better. Even though I'm at 50, you know, it feels like there's a little oomph there. Even going up the slight grade in top gear. So yeah, definitely, I, I think this bike works a lot better here in the, the, the lower elevation states. So we're gonna do a little off-roading back at my parents' property just for fun. Yeah, I think the front needs uh, to be balanced. Probably the rear, too. Problem with these dual sports, the dealers don't like balance them. It's like, that should be automatic. My buddy got told that Oh, well, it's an off-road bike. It comes plated. Like, people are buying the bikes to, for the plate. I think if somebody got injured and said, hey, it wasn't balanced and sued the dealer, they might lose the case. But at the same time, they may... Uh, have a valid argument and they possibly could win, you know? 
because it's off the showroom floor, you shouldn't have that issue. You shouldn't need to balance it. Just like you buy a, a truck or a Jeep. Old Jeep, it's built for off-road. Why does it need to be balanced? And wobbling all over the road. Well, no. <laughs> it's sold for road use like this is. Now, it's different if it's a 100% off-road bike. They can be like, yeah, that's not a platable bike, so it doesn't come. Oh. Oh, uh, that looks like property there. I'm going to guess this way. <laughs> oh, deer up ahead. Wild turkey. I guess. I really don't know what the animals are. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It's a nice road. Oh, deer running. See, that's the problem back east here. Deer will just run across. And because there's one, there could be others. Like, it seems like mule deer in Colorado tend to, like, not just dart in front of you. I mean, it does happen, but it's, it seems a little less common. They seem to kind of mosey. Like, if they're, they're on the side of the road, you just drive, drive, ride by, and that's it. Imagine owning, like, I know. I mean, my parents have a good chunk, but a lot of these good old boys, you know, well, they own field after field. Old homestead. See, these are a type of routes here in Tennessee that would just be fun to explore, like, on a bigger bike. My butt's already hurting being on this small bike, the seat. <laughs> but, yeah, being on a bigger bike, yeah. An array 700. I know a lot of people are knocking it, but oh, the KTM's bad. There's a lot of leg humpers, though, so it's kind of hard to read it or uh, weed out those people, too. I mean, how how is it really? What? Yeah, that's a deer, isn't that a deer? <laughs> okay, that's farm property. Curtis Road. Oh, here's a nice old bridge. Be good for magnet fishing. Old train bridge, too. Means it, it's been a, a crossing for a long time. Or maybe that's the old road bridge. One lane. I typically wouldn't stop on a bridge, but it's pretty rural. Yeah, look at that. That must be the uh, just an old bridge. It could be a train bridge. I got hear people write their name apparently. Oh. <laughs> I was going to take a picture. <laughs> like, of course somebody comes right when I'm doing it. Ah, oh, no, don't. What are you doing? 